Good morning, this is Brett, and welcome to my backyard. It's fall here in East Texas, and you know what that means. It's time for planting of our trees. And to get ready to plant some of our trees, we need to first go through some of our seeds that we've been collecting. And it's good to narrow them down and see which ones that we can go ahead and remove that may be less viable uh, to increase our chances that some of the others will come up. And so today what we're going to be looking at is uh, bur oaks from one of the trees in my yard. Here's some of them I've collected. And you'll notice they usually grow in groups of three or five. Usually three if they all develop. You can see a couple of smaller ones that did not there. And what we want to do first is start by removing the shell. We're not going to need that to be planting them. And then we want to look for any defects of some that we can go ahead and, and throw out. This one here, as you can see, it's already split open. This seed is going to be less viable, not as good of a chance that this one's going to go ahead and grow. So we're going to go ahead and remove that one there, not waste our time on it. And then secondly, as you can see this one right in here, you see that little hole? All acorns are susceptible to these little worms that can get inside. And uh, they start very small, but they can grow and come out of these little holes here. We don't want to plant these here. And also, if we get into storing them, which I may get a video of that later with uh, some of these. I'm not going to plant all these at this time. I'm going to take some of them after we weed through them and uh, uh, store them in the refrigerator. It's a process called striation. Basically what it is, we're gonna simulate the overwinter effect for a few months. And uh, that way we can save some of them a little bit longer, try to keep them from sprouting as early and go back and plant them right when spring gets here. But uh, this one here, we, we wanna go ahead and cull this one as well because if we try to save these here, these little worms will crawl out of here and they will go and they'll just go through all of these. They'll, they'll eat up all of these acorns here if we let them have a chance. And so you'll notice also the, the size of these bur oaks. These are a larger acorn. Um, some of these get the size of a golf ball. Very big acorn. Uh, I love this tree personally. I've got several of them around the yard. And so this one, um, it's got a good weight to it. Sometimes you can tell you'll you can shake them you'll hear a little rattling inside or they'll feel really light and uh, sometimes if you have uh, poor weather conditions they may not fill out as well uh, if you're unsure we can still use this method here that we're about to do we also want to check the caps um, sometimes whenever we remove that shell there's a little fungus that'll start growing up here at the top of the cap and that will get down in there and make them less viable as well. Now, if it has that fungus, it is probably not gonna pass the test that we're about to start. And this is a simple test, anybody can do this. So if you got your, your acorns ready to go, what we're gonna do is just take a bowl of water here and we're gonna put them in. And within just a couple of seconds, you, can, you should be able to see if uh, they float or sink. Let's just go ahead and throw a couple in there. Uh, you can see how that first one there, it's floating, and that second one sunk right to the bottom. That means this one here, this floating one, is probably not going to be a viable seed. And this one, I uh, haven't inspected all these just yet. It looks like it may be a little tiny hole right there. That could be a, a little worm that's already gotten in there. Uh, it could be a fungus. We're not exactly sure, but we're gonna go ahead and cull that out. Doesn't mean we can't plant this somewhere in the yard, but we don't want this one to be in with our other grouping. And then we're gonna take these that we think have got a better chance, and we're gonna put them over here. We're gonna store them separately. And I'll just go through a few, couple more just to see what we've got. That one, that one sinks pretty, pretty readily there. That one goes right to the bottom. Yeah, got a few good ones there. This one's a little lighter here. Let's see what happens with it. Yep, 
see that one's floating there uh, a little lighter probably probably already has a a bug in there or had a fungus and so not anything in there i can actually feel a little bit of a rattle in there too i don't know if y'all can hear that but this one's probably not going to sprout so we're going to go ahead and separate that but as you can see these here they've uh sank to the bottom real good now since we're just getting these prepped for planting right now and for separating that's all we're going to do we're going to get them out after just a few seconds and get them ready now when we're ready to plant uh, one good way to speed up uh, the germination process look there's another floater is um, when we put them in the water here when we're, when we're getting ready to plant we're going to put them in here and we might let them soak overnight go ahead and get them good and watered in go ahead and wet our soil that we're going to put them into as well to increase the time on uh, germination there make them grow a little faster and uh, look just going through here real quick I'll show you another one there's another one the worms already gotten into this one so we're gonna go ahead and cull that out along with the ones that are floating here so as you can see these few we've gone through here let me see I think I got two with a wormhole uh, four that floated and uh, five good seeds it looks like so we're able to very quickly just cull out about 50 percent save us some time energy and a little potting soil and i hope y'all enjoyed that quick little video i hope that helped some of y'all with getting ready to plant your trees for the fall if you'd like to see some more videos about other tree seeds that i've got just let me know in the comments below be sure and like and share and uh, we'll see y'all next time